A Pokemon toy will usually cost you more than $100, but I know a place where you might get it for less than half the price. What's the catch? The catch is you're going to need a little bit of patience and to be a bit of a quick learner. So how are we doing this? The answer is the claw machine. I've been trying this for so long. Let's get this one. The Pikachu? Yep, the Pikachu. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I got this. Here. Oh man, not again. Oh. Come on. Oh, my friend, you need some help here. Definitely, because uh, I've been trying all these machines for so many times. I paid so much money as well, but uh, I still couldn't get this one. Is there, is there a technique? That, um... Yeah, there's some techniques to it. Uh, let me show you how to get this Pikachu, yeah? Oh yes, that would be great. All right. Everyone must have heard of the claw machine. It has set off a boom in Japan and Taiwan, and the boom has now arrived in Hong Kong. When you walk inside an arcade, you will see a variety of machines and all types of prices. Some even showing the sign, I'm about to fall, to attract you. Who can refuse the temptation? The claw machine offering the doll catching game is played using coins. Dolls of various cartoon figures are placed in the machine. When you throw in tokens, you can control the mechanical claw to climb the doll up and transport it to the export hole. The key of this game is to be very skillful in controlling the mechanical grip, something that is not easy to master. Nowadays, the claw does not just go straight up or down. It can also swing. The adjustment of the angle makes it more difficult to control, but it is also more fun. Today we have invited our guest Edwin Ho, a game addict, doll catching expert to teach us the skill of getting a doll inside a claw machine. I've been playing the claw machines for over 20 years. Whenever I go to travel at Taiwan and Japan, I always get attracted to those claw machines. So like all the kids in the world, we started to play claw machines when we were a child. The skills that I developed in claw machines would be the physics knowledge, basically which part of the price to aim for to increase the chance of getting it. You have to know the weight distribution of the price and the figures so you know which part to aim for. Within five times, I would get the price. So I would say about 20 to 25% chance that I would get a price. I like claw machines a lot, basically like my sports right now. It would develop my muscle memories and it increases the chance of me getting the prize next time. You play a game that you could keep getting better at. So it's not only a one-time playing, it's like a long-term sportsmanship for me. Yeah, let's go, happen. let's go! We got you. Oh, look at that! Oh, wait, wait, wait! One more time, one more time. You got this. We're almost there. Wow! Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Woo! Okay. That's y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back in the days. I used to think that claw machine is straightforward. You just put in the coin and hope you get your favorite candy. But looking at all these experts today, there's actually a lot more to it. The way you pick your target according to the position, the technique on how you swing the claw, and how you strategically move the prize closer to you in multiple attempts. This has got to be one of the most classic yet difficult games in an arcade.